This is a Vizio 2010 connector and uh, connection point tutorial, specifically in uh, wiring diagrams. First thing we need here is um, something to connect our wires to. And as an example here, we will go to um, pick up a shape from uh, somewhere in the web, and then we'll use that shape to uh, make our connections. And just look for something here, um, relay. I'm going to pick a sort of a random uh, relay socket um, from here. This would be an example. And typically, uh, when you find these things, there'll be um, data sheets that are available for them. And then looking, there's your data sheets. Uh, fine, it looks like a pretty good drawing right here. So what I'm going to do here is hit a um, alternate uh, print screen, and that will copy uh, this window to the clipboard. And I'll be going back into Visio, and here I'm just going to uh, hit uh, Control V to paste this. I'm going to go into the format under picture tools here and the crop tool and use this crop tool to just get down to the relay that I'm looking for and see how this just cuts down the image. I'm going to zoom in a little bit to get a finer control. I still got my crop tool there. Uh, it's not perfect editing, but uh, this gives us pretty much what we're looking for. Now, uh, I'm going to back out, see how it looks on the page. It's a little larger than what I wanted, so I'm going to just uh, select it and make it a little smaller. Now, the next thing we want to do with this object is uh, create some connection points on it. And we do that uh, by going to this um, connection point tool, and the relay uh, shape right here is selected and I'm going to connect these wires right to these terminal screws. So I'm going to hold down the control key and uh, just uh, go and click on these screws and each place I'm doing this is making a connection point. Now typically in a wiring diagram we would have other components but for the sake of simplicity here, I'm just going to use this one. Now we've created connection points, and I'm going to uh, select this and just uh, drag over this and hold down the control key to make a copy. Now some connectors are going to be our wires. And I'm going to go and see how my connection point uh, highlights when I do this. A little bit. Put another one in here like this and go over to the other side. Now the routing you'll need to work on a little bit to get this just the way you want it to look. But you can get the idea here as to what we're doing. Now we're going to format these wires a bit, uh, selecting them both. on the control key and our line and um, make these lines a little bit heavier 
And I'm going to select some colors. And finally, uh, selecting them both again, I'm just going to do a little. I'm just going to do a little style here by selecting the two of them, and and align options. I'm going to round my corners off. Like that. So here we have a a uh, beginning of a diagram. Uh, could have other components. The basic idea is in terms of uh, establishing the connection points, uh, using the connectors, formatting them. Uh, we can go a little further with these, and just by selecting the wire, we can say that this is going to be wire number 13, and uh, add a number to it. I think we'd like that number to be a little larger. I'd like that number to be a little larger, rather than 8 point. So we'll take that up to 16 point. And then let's say this is wire number uh, 42, 16 point. And then if we like to move uh, the location, we can go to the uh, text block tool. Move that. Like so. And so that would be a way that we could label the wires. So uh, this is uh, the basics um, for uh, doing the wiring diagram using connection points. And uh, for uh, further information, uh, go to uh, drinkinfrastructure.com.